something that each one of us cherish as something very sweet and deep to our hearts is love the need of every individual to love and to be loved in fact they say the only ship that never sinks is a genuine meaningful relationship it's quite amazing though how something that we hold so sacred something that is of such high value to us is often so neglected and so abused in our relationships one of the factors that can bring a distance and bitterness is giving corrective feedback when we try to correct someone there's a kind of bitterness in the heart of the person whom we are trying to correct sometimes the person even distances himself or herself from us how do we actually give corrective feedback in a relationship in order to correct someone or say something to someone which is not very pleasant we should always try and get answers to these four questions question 1 we should ask ourselves am i the right person to correct the other individual and who is the right person sometimes they say every woman thinks that there's only one best child in the world and that's her child and every man thinks that there's only one best wife in the world that's the neighbor's wife just joking here yeah? but can any man give a feedback to another person's wife can any parent give a corrective feedback to someone else's child therefore when we say are you the right person to correct we should ask ourselves this question am i a relative am i a friend am i an authority in any way that i can give a corrective feedback if the answer is a yes we should move on to question 2 question 2 is do i have the right motive to correct very often the motive in correcting others is that of settling old accounts instead of actually trying to serve the person by helping the person to come out of the wrong that he or she is doing ladies and gentlemen in giving corrective feedback we have to have a very high sense of conscience we should introspect and come to a conclusion that when i say something corrective to a person it's actually to serve and help the person and not to settle any old accounts question 3 to ask do you actually know the right way to correct a lot of times people are okay with taking correction but the way that correction is expressed is so gross so blunt so abusive can actually create a lot of harm to the person and the person switches off in taking such feedback thus many times i say when we try to correct an issue the issue is only about 10% and 90% is the wrong tone of voice if we just have the right tone of voice and if we just say things in the right way a lot of people are okay to handle it and our feedback our correction our advice sinks much deeper the last question that we must ask ourselves is it the right time to give the feedback like for instance if i'm giving a talk and after my talk someone comes and says that your talk was horrible this was wrong well it's okay i it might be wrong it might have been horrible but the timing is wrong i've just finished the talk i'd prepared a lot for the talk and therefore if someone would have told the same thing to me two days later or a day later my head would be cool his head would be cool he would be able to express it better i would be able to take it better thus we have to ask ourselves this question is it the right time to give the feedback many times i say this we shouldn't express our anger we should explain our anger or our feelings when we express what we feel it's unpleasant when we explain what we feel people can understand and when the heads are hot and we are upset with something and we straight away give a feedback it's the wrong timing because we will express but when we allow our heads to cool down we won't express we'll be in a position to explain what we have to say then for the next time in your relationships if you have to ever ever say something corrective to someone please do ask yourself these four questions are you the right person do you have the right motive do you know the right way and is it the right time